I'm excited because today I get to try something that I've never tried before and it's going to be happening at Oaxaca Restaurant, which is on the northeast corner of Belmont and Chestnut. I've heard amazing things about this cuisine. Let's give it a shot. I'm Jason Ferris, owner of Fres Yes Realty, and I've lived in Fresno all my life. Join me as I visit some of the best food spots 559 has to offer. This is Fresno Flavor. First thing I'm struck by is the bright, colorful feel of their cozy space on Belmont Avenue. From what I can see, the vibrant colors and eclectic textures match the amazing food. This family-owned establishment has been serving the valley for over three decades. Every single plate has something special about it. I'm gonna learn all about the restaurant's history and amazing food today. I, and I can't believe you, you guys have been here for over three decades, and sadly, I have, didn't even know you were here. Yeah, we we're a little hidden. <laughs> but that's okay, but the, sometimes these hidden places are the best in town. And so far, I have to say, we're starting off right. I, I'm familiar here. Yeah, maybe too familiar. <laughs> but uh, what is this? This is our uh, Oaxacan horchata. That we put a walnut, melon, and our tuna. Ah. It's our, our cactus. <laughs> okay, cactus. All right. I love the color, the vibrancy. It kind of goes along with. Uh, you know, the restaurant. Tell me a little bit about Oaxaca. Well, to us, uh, Oaxaca is our culture. Now, I did a little digging, so that's in the southern end of Mexico, right? My parents came around like 30 years ago. We wanted to open our uh, Oaxacan uh, restaurant in Fresno. We knew there was no like Oaxacan cuisine in this area, in the, cent in the Central Valley. And so how old were you when this was happening? I was about like five. Yeah, I still remember. Yeah. We go to Oaxaca like every every summer to, to visit getting, our uncles. What a host you are! I'm already getting food. What uh, what is this? We have a little surprise. Yeah. Chapalinas. <laughs> Crickets, mm -hmm. like the actual cricket. Okay. <laughs> we call them chapalinas. So they're grasshoppers all the way from Oaxaca. It's sautéed with the tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, a little bit of salt. A secret item people order. Ah, so secret yeah. menu items. That's the kind of place we're rolling into. I like it. All right. You just get a chip. Then, right. Oh, so I'm not being punked. This is real. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let's try some chapalinas. They've been sauteed and cooked like there's nothing, they're not going to jump off my plate or anything. <laughs> this is why you have the beer, huh? Yep. <laughs> What do you think? The texture caught me off guard, yeah. but wow, it's spicy. You know what? It reminds me of a sunflower seed a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they were, they were good. I can actually see myself coming back and, and having a michelada and, and, and grubbing on some uh, some chapalinas. Well, thanks for the surprise, so, you know. Um, <laughs> so um, let's get back to uh, Oaxaca. When people say like, oh, it's a Mexican restaurant, this is really not. Yes, our food's really different. Uh, our number one item, we call them uh, clayudas. It's kind of basically like, like a Mexican pizza. It's around like this big. We, we put a, our meat at uh, asajo, it's a beef. Our cecina, which is a pork uh, enchilado. And we also put chorizo. We have uh, customers that come all the way from San Francisco. We have some from uh, Seattle, from Cleveland, and they come just for our clayudas. Well, I haven't enjoyed some of this beer and I've had a little bit of an appetizer, so I'm ready for the main course. Uh, let's head back in the kitchen so I can see how it's made, huh? All right, do it. It's rare to step into a restaurant and feel like you're transported to the place where the whole cuisine originated. But that's exactly the vibe Oaxaca pulls off. Let's hop into the kitchen to see how this Oaxacan classic is put together. So first we start off with the uh, clayuda, which is a tostada from Oaxaca. And then we're gonna add the black, the black beans. Our beans are made with chile de arbol and some garlic. Did you just share one of your secrets with me? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> right. Now let's get into the secrets. We add our shredded cabbage, queso fresco. And then we put our Oaxaca cheese. 
Avocados and the... Gotta have avocado. Tomatoes. It's like you're making a pizza. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> our Oaxacan pizza. Oaxacan pizza. We're gonna add our uh, cecina, okay. our pork, our uh, tasajo. And, those, and, and that meat is sliced so thin. This is gonna be delicious when it's done. I just know it. We have our, our chorizo, cactus. Sometimes when the people, when they order like a whole clarita, they'll, they'll be surprised when like, they see like how big it is. You'll just see their faces like, like really, <laughs> really surprised. Really light up. Oh, look at that bad boy. It's Clayuda time. This looks absolutely amazing. That is nothing like what I imagined it would look like. I mean, how do people eat such a thing? I mean, this is huge. Get the Clayuda, a little bit of uh, chorizo, a little bit of whatever you like. I mean, everything's really fresh. I mean, this is basically how they serve it in, in Oaxaca. They'll have it uh, outside in the street. They'll have their grill, and they uh, will make our the clayuda for you. That's fantastic. That's got really good flavor, and it's cooked to perfection. This is probably a, 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 the most Oaxacan uh, plate. So you're bringing authentic Oaxacan food in here, and then and then doing your thing. What a commitment! Has it always been that way? Mm -hmm. Wow. Since the day uh, we opened. So now I get it. Earlier when we were talking and you were explaining like they, they come here all the way from San Francisco, I understand why I would come here for this. We sell probably like about, yeah, about, a, sorry, about a thousand a month. How many of them a month? A thousand? Pro probably even more. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, I really shouldn't be giving them the wow because it tastes so good. Uh, I mean, I'll be coming back for sure. I can't put into words how unique our visit has been here today at Oaxaca Restaurant. If you want to taste and experience the culture and cuisine of this special part of Mexico, come on down to Oaxaca Restaurant. And for more stories about the people, the places, the lifestyle, the homes, and the delicious food that our valley continues to put out, please check out fresyes.com. So you guys aren't the only ones with the secret agenda, you know, with the menu items and stuff. I actually have a secret today, and it's for my Fres Yes Fresno viewers. So uh, I want to give you another reason to come down here and try this amazing food. And so I'm gonna buy a $50 gift certificate from these fine gentlemen here, and I am gonna give it away to one of you viewers. And all you have to do is click the link below. Thanks for watching, and uh, get down here to Oaxaca. You will love it.